Hey guys, it's Rachel here. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Final Fantasy VII Remake Demo that just came out this week for PlayStation PS4 and my thoughts about it, my anticipations, what it was like, and what we're all like, and just the, the pure love that I have for this game. I'm so, so super excited for it. This game, the original game came out in 1997, I'm pretty sure. It came out in 1997, and it's now 2020, and how far this game has came, <laughs> has come from 20 plus years ago, is just amazing, well worth the wait. If you aren't aware, uh, PS4 came out with the demo of Final Fantasy VII. You should have seen it on Twitter or at least Instagram or something. But they came out with the demo version. It's about like maybe you can get through it in like an hour. It's very short. I mean, if you play Final Fantasy VII, it's like the very first scene, the intro of when Cloud and Barrett go into the Mako reactor with Avalanche and blow it up. Thoughts behind seeing this demo was wow. Oh my God, it got me so excited for the game. You have, you have no idea it, they really really you could tell they took their time in the visual design the graphics in terms of showing off just the overall setting of just the Mako reactor midgar the whole train in terms of the character design cloud barrett team avalanche they really took their time in creating like like the little detailed structures of each character so Cloud looks amazing, oh my god. Barrett looks good. They even changed his style. Oh, they pretty much gave him glasses and I think maybe a little bit shorter hair, but in general, he looks the exact same. Personalities couldn't be more opposite, which is the thing I like the most about the demo. It showed Barrett's loud, strong personality that you couldn't really tell what it was from the dialogue in Final Fantasy in the older version of Final Fantasy VII to now seeing like his voice coming to life. Say that again. I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. So I thought that was cool. And then Cloud obviously being nonchalant, uh, not really caring about anything, it's very apparent. He's like, I don't care, I'm just here for the money. Do something this crazy just for money? They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? So I can't wait to see the further character development and how he grows and like how he interacts with everybody for sure. Um, like I said, the game looks good. Combat looks good. It's, it's, they revamped the whole combat style. So it looks really, really good, really exciting. I, I'm, I'm excited to see the material that they have and the different type of magics they have. If they kept the same material, I'm sure they added more and probably changed a few things. In terms of visual, Jesus Christ, like Midgar never looked so good. <laughs> it never looked so good. In terms of visuals, like, I'm just excited to see the different countries and like places you'll visit in the game and how they like changed everything to like how they run into like Vincent and Sid, Red 13. I'm excited to see all those things. Just, oh my God, like I can only imagine. But yeah, like I said, visually everything looks good. Pristine, clean graphics look amazing. Things I'm anticipating for Final Fantasy VII is definitely Sephiroth. I can't wait to see Sephiroth and Cloud and their backstory. I'm waiting to see Zack, because Zack is like his his icon. I feel like Zack is one of those, those like unsung characters that just like, either you know about or you don't, because he's not really in the game. But Cloud is who he is because of Zack, and he doesn't really get a lot of shine, so I'm, I'm interested in seeing Zack. I played Crisis Core and it was so good, and I loved his back, his story, and I can't wait to see how they incorporate him into this game. Uh, can't wait to see Aerith. Vincent. I'm waiting for Vincent. Vincent's like my favorite Final Fantasy VII character. Didn't care for his own game, but I love his character. I can't wait to see how like they make him and create his character and like put him in the story. And Yuffie as well. Sid. I wonder if they'll make them Sid. Like I wonder if they'll make Yuffie and Vincent like bonus characters you can add or if they are right, all already included in your party. Because in the original one, Yuffie and Vincent, you had to like get them you couldn't they, they weren't characters you just got automatically had to find them so they were like secret characters so i think they'll make it to where you could they'll be in your party anyway or maybe they'll, they'll keep the story the same and i'm also worried like worried about the story how linear will they keep this story will they like 
take away some of the some some things well they like i know they added some some things but what things have they changed from the original story or did they keep it exactly the same with just a few new different changes so we'll see i'm excited to see where the story is obviously i'm sure the they'll keep the important stuff like Aerith being killed and sephiroth obviously trying to kill cloud and all that stuff they won't change anything too dramatically but I'm excited to see. But yes, if you hang around to the end of the game and you pl of, of the demo, they even have a secret ending in the demo. So I'm not going to ruin the secret ending, but they have a secret ending available if you play through the whole demo and do a little couple extra stuff. But um, I'm sure it's just it's just like a little cute teaser to keep people excited to play the full game. So yeah, like I said, I'm excited for Final Fantasy VII. It's one of my favorite Final Fantasy games of all time. Final Fantasy X is my favorite, but Final Fantasy VII is one of my favorites, obviously. It's so, so, so popular. This remake is has been long overdue. Much, much anticipated remake of of the Square Enix Final Fantasy series, for sure. I'm just excited for this, this, this demo. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you played the demo, if you're excited for the game, or if you're just waiting like me to play the full game. I'm waiting to play the full game. I'm just waiting to play the full game. That's it. Like, that's all I care about. I just want to play the full game. This demo is nice, but I want the full game now. But the full game comes out April 10th. Seeing my childhood game being redone in 2020 graphics is just amazing. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this game. If you're, if you think it's just another dumb remake, if you're not really interested, or if you're going to keep playing the old one, or if you're just like, fuck the old one, I'm playing the new one. I want to play the new one. If... They made this available in today's graphics and it's much, much better. Why not? So yeah, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. I post videos every Friday and Sunday on my channel. If I don't post on Fridays, I'll most likely post on Saturday. Follow me on my social media down below. And I'll see you next time for another video. Make sure you play a video game and I'll see you next time. Bye.